What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Now that episode 6 is officially released, there is something I want to discuss specifically before I make my review video. This episode was released very early thanks to HBO Spain, and I know some of you want to talk about how the Night King got those big chains to pull Viserion out of the lake, or why the Night King didn't just kill Drogon instead. But save those questions for my review video tomorrow, because I would rather hear your opinion on this subject first. I have seen this episode a few times now, and it has allowed me to take some extra time to think about this topic, but I'm gonna be honest with you right up front. I still don't have the perfect answer for this, but I wanna go over some of the options still. Now that the Night King has his own dragon, the question is, how can it be killed? I need some feedback from you on this one, so let me know how you think the dragon can be stopped. The answer might seem obvious, but I don't think it's gonna be as clear as it may seem. In order to kill the Night King's dragon, it may take something we haven't seen done before, but I will let you be the judge. Before we try and figure out how the dragon can be killed, you first have to figure out what kind of dragon it is now. The Night King has two very different types of soldiers in his army. You have the Whites, which are at the very lowest tier of the army, basically the foot soldiers. The Whites are created by the Night King by raising the dead, just like we saw at Hardhome when he lifted his arms up in the air and all the dead people opened their eyes and stood back up. The Whites typically look like corpses or skeletons. They can be killed by using fire, but for some reason they changed it this season and now they can be killed with Dragonglass too. But then you have the White Walkers, and these are the Night King's strongest soldiers. The White Walkers were created by the Night King touching the cheek of Craster's sons. The White Walkers have superhuman strength, and they can only be killed by Dragonglass and Valyrian Steel. But the Night King also has giants, polar bears, and now he has a dragon. When you go back and look at how the Night King brought the dragon back from the dead, he brought Viserion back just like he did with Craster's sons. He did it by placing his hand on the dragon's head, so in my opinion this makes the dragon a White Walker. Basically, it's the most powerful way he can bring something under his control or command, which will make this dragon even harder to kill. If he would have brought the dragon back by raising his arms, it would have been a white dragon, but since he touched it, it's a white walker dragon. Since it has the powers and weaknesses of a white walker, then you should be able to kill this dragon by using dragon glass or valerian steel. But then again, you have to think about how dragon glass and valerian steel is made. Dragonglass is a type of volcanic glass. Some people say that dragonglass is made by dragon fire, while others say dragonglass is made from the fires of the earth. George R. R. Martin said that dragonglass has magical properties, and if dragonglass is made by dragon's fire, then it might not be able to kill Viserion since he is a dragon himself. But depending on what the actual magical properties are in it, then maybe it still can kill him. If you put a dragonglass arrow tip through Viserion's big blue eye, then it could potentially shatter him into a thousand pieces of ice. But what about Valerian Steel? Valerian Steel is also called Dragon Steel, and George R. R. Martin has also said himself that Valerian Steel has magical properties too, and they are possibly forged by using dragon fire. Now this is where it kind of gets tricky for me, because if it's the dragon's fire that makes dragonglass and valyrian steel special, then it might not be able to kill a dragon, even though it's a white walker dragon now. But since they also have magical properties in them, then that might be enough to kill the Night King's dragon. If dragonglass or valyrian steel does work against Viserion, then they might have to make it into some kind of projectile, something that can shoot at Viserion because I doubt they're ever going to be able to get close enough to stab him. You could also look at this symbolically, too. Daenerys named Viserion after her brother Viserys, and she also named Drogon after Khal Drogo. Since Khal Drogo killed her brother Viserys, then we may need Drogon to kill Viserion, and this would make the whole dead dragon thing even more dramatic. Daenerys may have to kill her own dragon in order to stop Viserion from killing her or her other dragons, or potentially everyone. But then again, you have to think about the strengths and weaknesses of the dragons. Most importantly, a White Walker dragon. You might not be able to kill Viserion with fire, even if it's dragon's fire. We have seen the White Walkers and the Night King walk right through fire before. Not only did they walk through the fire, but when they did walk through it, you could see the fire actually die down significantly. 
Now, obviously, dragon fire is much more powerful than regular fire, but in this episode, the Night King actually walked right through the dragon fire, too. Near the end of the episode, the Night King and Jon Snow had another stare down. And when the Night King walked forward, he stepped right through the dragon fire on the ground as if it wasn't even there. So considering that, I'm not so confident that Viserion can be brought down with any kind of fire. I do have a tinfoil idea, though, that's probably not likely, but I'm gonna tell you about it anyway. In the books, there is a horn called Dragon Binder. Euron Greyjoy says this horn is capable of binding a dragon to someone's will, which means by using this horn, you can control a dragon. They never did introduce this horn in the show, but they did introduce another horn in the show, and it was very brief, but they did show it. Back in Season 2, some of the Night's Watch was at the Fist of the First Men, and Gren and Sam were digging in the snow and they uncovered a stash of dragon glass and there was a horn. Many people believe this was the Horn of Winter, and many people also believe that this would be the horn that would bring down the wall, but it was never mentioned or showed again. I have assumed Sam has had this horn with him the entire time. I was hoping he would study it while he was at the Citadel, but he never did while he was there. The reason Sam left the Citadel in Episode 5 was because the Maesters didn't take Bran's warning very serious. Bran said the dead were marching to Eastwatch, so Sam stole a bunch of books and documents from the Citadel and now he's heading north. I think if Sam still has that horn that he found with the stash of dragonglass, perhaps they could use this horn as a dragon binder. Someone could potentially blow this horn and gain control of the Night King's dragon, or possibly blowing the horn could cause it to shatter into pieces of ice like we've seen the other White Walkers do when they are beaten. I know that's some extra tinfoil, but I had to throw that in there. I think that would be an interesting way they could bring the horn back into the plot, but that's just me. Another way they can try and kill Viserion is by using Werewood. You can make weapons out of the weirwood trees as well. In the books, there are several weapons made from the wood from a weirwood tree, like bows and spears and even arrows. The Children of the Forest use weirwood bows and even Blood Raven, aka the Three-Eyed Raven, had a weirwood bow. I think this could potentially kill the dragon. The weirwood trees are obviously very magical and powerful too, and if you made a big enough arrow out of weirwood and you shot it using a scorpion, it might be able to take the dragon down especially if he was able to put the arrow right through his eye. But then again, you might just have to kill the Night King himself in order to stop Viserion. If you can't kill the dragon with dragon glass, valerian steel, weirwood arrows, fire, or a horn, then you're gonna have to stop the Night King first, and it should shut down his entire army, including Viserion. I made a video several months ago about how to defeat the Night King, and one of the ideas I had was if you kill the Night King then it should stop his whole army since he is controlling them all. If you can shut off the Night King's brain or conscious, then it should shut down everything else that he's controlling. We actually saw an example of this in Episode 6 when Jon Snow killed the White Walker. When Jon killed him, almost all of the Whites that he had in his little group shut down too. When the White Walkers shattered from the Valyrian Steel, the other Whites broke into pieces pretty much simultaneously. The characters notice this too, so now they know. If you can get the Puppet Master and kill him, then the rest will fall too. The Night King might not ride the dragon into every battle, so it might be easier to kill the Night King than it is the dragon. You stop the Night King, you stop the dragon. But obviously, this is all easier said than done. It's gonna be interesting to see how things play out now that the Night King has his own ultimate weapon. I'm also curious to see how Danny's mental stability is from here on out, now that she lost one of her own children. It would also be a tragedy if Daenerys had to sacrifice herself in some way in order to stop her own dragon from killing everyone else. That would be one of those gut-punching twists if that happened. Now that the Night King has a dragon, things just got a hell of a lot more interesting in my opinion. He could essentially fly right over top of the wall if he wanted to. When Season 8 begins, we should see the Night King and his entire army on the south side of the wall. And when the others step foot on the soil south of the wall, the Great War will have officially begun. I don't know if Jon Snow is going to be able to get the support that he needs in time before the Night King makes his way down to Winterfell. Jon Snow better hope Cersei eventually sends some kind of support in Season 8 or else the mission to get the White will have been for nothing. Viserion will have died for nothing other than Danny just seeing the dead for herself. So I can't wait to see how they plan on stopping the Night King now that he has giants, bears, and a dragon. But comment down below with your questions and thoughts. I'm curious to see what all of you have to say about this. I want to thank everyone for watching tonight's video. I really do appreciate that. And I will release a full video about episode 6 tomorrow. So I hope you all come back for that one.